It's Ron back on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We discuss a lot of drone, uh, camera gear, tech in general, but today kind of is a drone video. Just a little over a week ago, you know, they, uh, they we got word from the, um, you know, uh, DJI that they were dropping their geofencing. And if you don't know what geofencing is, a, a DJI drone, I have the uh, Air 3S here, typical DJI drone. Uh, they prevent you from flying in areas where, for the most part, you weren't allowed to fly um, around airports, prisons, military type uh, bases, and so on. Other important uh, infrastructure, power plants, so on, like that, uh, dams uh, per se. But um, what the problem was, and it was, it was good for you know new pilots, people that that didn't actually that didn't do their research, didn't, didn't do their trust test, or get their part one and seven, or didn't get any information anyway, not prevented from taking off areas where they shouldn't be flying out for the most part. But for uh, on the flip side, for experienced pilots, like myself, say a part one and seven pilot, many times I would get like, a, you know, I'd have an assignment or a job uh, uh, near what could be a restricted area, and I would check my sexual charts, uh, various apps or whatever, and make sure the area was good, uh, you know, to fly in. And if it wasn't, I could apply for, uh, uh, you know, uh, Lance approval ahead of time and unlock it or whatever so that I was allowed to, you know, fly there at a certain time, to a certain height and whatever, you know, I would give, uh, I would ask permission. I needed, say, 200 feet and I needed to fly it from, you know, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and I would get approval. Then I'd show up on site and uh, I, my, my, you know, my uh, drone would be locked by uh, the geofencing. And then I would have to go into a separate app, a, a DJI's app or whatever, and kind of unlock it, uh, you know, from there. But of course, lots of times, DJI's app, the, 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 the process for unlocking geofencing wasn't very smooth or hard to use, especially on mobile devices, especially if you had spotty internet. So it was best to do it at home ahead of time. Uh, but even then, sometimes I had problems, you know, uh, getting uh, the, the map, because the, 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 you can go to a DJI website and you can see the geofencing maps and whatever. And uh, even figuring out there whether it was in, you know, you're going to be in a zone and, and uh, you know, whether uh, it, uh, you know, it, it matched up. So the problem is the, the DJI geofencing didn't match up with the FAA no-fly zones or Class G airspace or the other classes of airspace. So it was a disconnect. I mean, lots of times they were similar, but there was a disconnect. So uh, it caused many people not to be able to fly their drones uh, for, you know, work and, and pleasure. Um you know, even if you went and uh, went through the like approval process, you know, uh, you just, you know, you just, you, you couldn't get through all the, the hoops that DJI made you jump through to get the um, geofencing unlocked. But again, that's all over if you want to be over. Uh, you just, you know, go into your DJI drone, you just go into your settings, uh, you look for the uh, the fly safe database update, or you just update everything in general. And now you know, usually include bringing the fly safe database along. But when you update that, those geo zones will be gone now. It'll still warn you kind of on the screen that you're entering a, 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 a you know geofence zone, but it won't prevent you from flying. It won't it won't ground your drone like before. You just couldn't you couldn't take the drone off if you were in a geofence thing and you couldn't get unlocked. But now again, the warnings will still be there but uh, you, you still be able to fly your drone. So I think that's the best of both worlds, but there's a big argument. There's like two sides of coins. There's a, some people that are, you know, doing the happy dance. You're saying, oh yeah, geofence is going, I can fly my drone where I want to now. Uh, and then they'll tell you a lot of the same things that I, I just said earlier that, you know, uh, you, you, you unlock the fly in, you know, in restricted airspace, you got like approval, but you still couldn't take your drone off. And then you have the other side of the coin of people that are going to say, well, this isn't good. Uh, now you're going to have all these newbie pilots or all these, these cowboys, you know, all these people lumped together are just going to be flying all around airports and military bases and prisons and so on, you know, uh, unchecked 
from uh, any any restrictions, you know, by the drone. You know, so that brings up the argument, uh, you know, personal responsibility. You know, you should be personally responsible for where you fly your drone, you know, whether that's legal airspace or not. So, uh, you know, there's that. And all these arguments, I can see, you know, I can see the side of, uh, of, of every argument, you know, that you can make about whether geofencing was good, bad, or whether it should go, or did it help or hurt or whatever. So, again, I understand all the different arguments and uh, you know, uh, I can't say any one of them, uh, you know, uh, was right for sure. I, I guess, you know, if we go six months a year and you don't see any uptick in people flying where they shouldn't have, then the Jew offenses didn't matter. If you see a whole bunch of people caught flying around airports, their privileges would have been stopped by the Jew offensing. Then I guess the other side may have some validity to it. So um, I, just, I just know as a, you know, as a, you know, mostly a hobby is piled, but sometimes a part one of seven piled, uh, you know, you know, not every part 107 job, not every other one, but a couple times a year, I would run up against that thing where, again, you know, I uh, I was in class G airspace, but the Jew offensive would not let me take off, and uh, I couldn't get unlocked on site. And uh, again, I I know you know you should research ahead of time and do do it all at home, but uh, you know uh, sometimes again you look at the map, you just don't realize it. You know, even look at the DJI's map, you don't realize they're in the geofencing sometimes. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you can put everything on the, you know, you, as a user, you should do everything right. You know, you do every step 100% you know, right, 100% of the time. But that's just not reality. You know, uh, lots of times, uh, you know, when you get on, a lot of things have to be done on site. And DJI had a terrible way of unlocking uh, their geofencing on site on mobile devices. So that that that's all I have to say on that topic. <laughs> In my uh, who I forget it. Forrest Gump uh, there. So yeah. So anyhow, um, but here's the thing: if you like geofencing, you like being able not to fly when you shouldn't have. Just don't update the database, the FlySafe database. Just don't update it. Keep it like it is forever, and uh, you won't be able to fly into those things. So there is a there is a resolution to it. And uh, again, even though you're you, it won't it won't prevent you from flying. It's still going to work you that you can't fly there so you know uh, um you know if you got the app screen at you screaming at you and, you know this is a warning zone be careful don't fly here whatever then you know that's certainly uh any responsible pod's going to kind of maybe stop what they're doing for a second and rethink this whole situation so again and now if they got like a like approval and the uh ffa knows they're going to be flying there at that particular time at a pick the height or whatever then 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 you're good to go so yeah so um I, I don't want to make a super long video on this. I, I just wanted to get this out there in case anybody missed the news. I tried to include the link below, and our, uh, somebody had a, you know, uh, DJI had their own website. I'm going to try to link that down below here so you can look at DJI's uh, official statement. I hate to put any words in DJI's mouth or talk to them. People are, people don't know the reasons. I don't I don't think, D, I don't, maybe DJI gave a reason that big thing. A lot of people say, well, it has to do with the future DJI bans. I know DJI has denied this has anything to do with the with the proposed banning of DJI drone sales in the government uh, in, in, in the future. So uh, so that's, again, they've, they've officially denied that. So, yeah. Okay, let me not make this video too long and and I want to thank everybody for stopping by, watching the video. Thumbs up if you got anything out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Ring that bell if you want to see more content like this. And, uh, you know, have, have a great day. Goodbye.